Um, you know, just uh, having the uh, bad taste in our mouth from the Fresno game, we wanted to come out there and you know, put some good stuff on tape and you know show how show how real nasty we are up front. How do you think you guys can get even better than the short yardage situations? Last week we got stuffed on fourth and one. Right. What are you guys doing to improve in the short yardage situation? Right. Well, um, you know, coming out here with Coach Johnson, he's teaching us, you know, get our second step in that ground, you know, get some uh, movement off the line. Uh, you know, get low with our leverage so we can actually move people off the line and, you know, get that one yard that we need every time. Offense kind of stalled after getting a 17-0 lead early and long rain delay and everything else. Right. But uh, I guess just kind of what clicked there on that game-winning drive where it was like, hey, it's now or never. Right. That's a, We were leaving with something, you know. Uh, we waited about five and a half hours to play the game, you know. Uh, so we were just, we, ha we had to leave with something. We weren't going to, you know, sit around all day and, just you know, get back on the plane after you know so long and just be soaking about it. But we were leaving with something. As an offensive line group, do you guys take pride when um, the running backs do well and, and have that? Oh yeah, performance? oh yeah, oh yeah. I love my guys. Uh, all, th all, all, all the running backs in the room. You know, whenever they pop off a big run, we all get uh, electric smiles across our face. Our coach Johnson gets hyped. You know, the whole room gets ecstatic when we watch it on film the next day. You have a quarterback that has a potent or a possibility of taking off and running. You have to kind of sense that, you know, when he pulls the ball and takes off running and set up your schemes differently to, to get him some uh, yards. Not necessarily, because our quarterback's a very special guy. You know, he's going to make us right every time. So I, I'm not worried about, you know, him scrambling or if I'm in the right, you know, spot, because I know he's going to make me right, and I'm going I'm to protect him as much as I can. How much confidence is there that you have that extra weapon if, if things break down, he can get some yards with the speed? Oh, oh uh, having him, you know, Escape the pocket and get those yards that we need. Those, those are, you know, huge. You know, um, being able to, uh, you know, uh, scramble and make uh, create offense that way. That's a, it's a huge part of our offense. How do you think you've stepped up as a leader for the rest of the line, just with the experience and your belt you got last year? Um, you know, uh, getting uh, thrown out there as a, a redshirt freshman, um, it was a lot. It was real challenging. So I understand what a lot of guys go through and. And what they need to like get that little push, it's just a lot of confidence, you know. So I try to uh, put confidence in my guys throughout the whole game, you know. Last year, I don't know what the expectations were for you, but when you get accolades and things after the season, does that kind of put pressure on you to step up and perform even more coming into this year? Not necessarily, because I know what type of player I am, and I know what I'm going to do on the field every time. So accolades, you know, they're 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 nice and all to have, but. You know, that's not what I look forward to when I step out on the field every Saturday. All five of you guys played every snap. What do you think about that? You know, I love it. You know, get to get in that mood, get to feel the game, feel out uh, the defenders, feel out, you know what I'm saying, with the rotations, you don't really get to do that. You get to, you got to, you know, cool off. And But when you play the whole game, you already know what to expect and how to how to block it and, and what will make that guy on the other side tip over. What do you see from Syracuse on film? A uh, whole lot of movement, just a lot of movement uh, front from their D line. That's about that's um that's about the one concern we have about them is their their movement. Uh, they like to cross face a lot, and they don't they don't stop moving once they get going. Hey, what'd you do during that break to stay stay ready? Uh, man, that break, I had to take a shower. I had to feel refreshed, man. Uh, uh, what else did I do? We had some food come by. We had our city barbecue, our mission barbecue, I mean. We had them come by. And other than that, I took a little nap, you know. That's about Showered? it. Showered? Yeah, I, sh I had enough time to shower, <laughs> get my clothes dried <laughs> off, all type of stuff. The environment in the locker room after that game, it felt like this team is united. And, oh, yeah. you know, didn't get your heads down after the Fresno game. But how can a win like that kind of jolt you going forward where your, your schedule is going to be like this every single week? Oh, because now we know what it takes to, takes to win. So we got that little smell of blood. So now that's all we uh, chase for each and every game.